And there is a push for some changes as well to the way the wolf reintroduction plan is working across our state. Lawmakers in the mountains are hoping to ease the burden on ranchers by hiding their identities when they claim reimbursement for livestock that was killed by wolves. Your report of the mountain, Spencer Wilson, tells us why ranchers are looking to keep that information private. A big piece of this is helping to remove the intensity of the spotlight on our rural Colorado communities. People who didn't necessarily want to be a part of this giant conversation statewide and give them a little privacy where they've lost a lot. On the sprawling acreage of our Colorado mountains, our ranchers are worried over if their livestock will be where newly introduced wolves strike next. And should they ask to be reimbursed, what it will cost them, namely their information going public figure out who who the ranch is and you can if you know the name you can search it which becomes a security issue for these folks if somebody wants to come see the wolves or punish ranchers who try to defend their livestock you've seen some deals of people po posting people's address from here already online saying this is where they live this is state senator dylan roberts plans to introduce this bill since he believes it stopped our reintroduction plan from working the way it was intended uh, they of course need to file compensation claims to get paid for the animals that they lost. Uh, but uh, if there's something getting in their way doing that, we should fix it. Naturally, as someone who deals in information, I asked about the trade-off, losing more transparency in a plan that's already considered at the very least secretive by many groups. We're not looking to make the entire program uh, hidden from, from media scrutiny or from questions from the public. What we're doing is just protecting the private information of an individual who didn't want to be a part of the conversation in the first place. It's peace of mind for the Middle Park stock growers, who are not interested in getting deeper into the wolf reintroduction process without shoring up the walls of the current plan, even asking Colorado Parks and Wildlife to halt the reintroduction of new wolves within the next couple of months. We need to figure that out. I mean, look at what happened with what we've, you know, we, we have a pack got removed. We've lost another one. We've lost three wolves that are gone. You've lost the female and her pups. I reached out to the Colorado Parks and Wildlife Office myself for an interview. They did not get back to me within two weeks' time. Senator Roberts says he's planning to introduce this bill as soon as the next session starts. Outside of Kremlin, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. And Spencer is your reporter in the mountains. If you have a story idea for him, you can reach out through CBSColorado.com or by giving him a call on our tips line.